Hi everyone, on today's video I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Photo Republic camera slider. Okay, so let's start by opening the box. And once open, you'll find this bag. Okay, so let's open the bag and see what we have inside. So inside, we find the two legs, some hex wrenches, and the slider itself. Okay, so as you can see, this is the Slidecam 600. This is their smallest version, 24 inch or 60 centimeters. This is done by Photo Republic. So let's start by mounting the legs. So let me grab the slider and let me turn it upside down so you can see. This is the screw that you'll use to mount the legs. So you just simply align it, it goes like this, and screw it in place. And now you have the slider with both legs. So at this moment, you just need to balance four legs to have a level shot. In my case, it's balanced already since I've used it in the past, uh, but it's fairly simple. You just need to just screw this and then tighten this nut. That way it stays in place, just in case you feel like it's not level. In my case, it feels a tiny bit that it's not level. So I'm gonna take it back and let's test it out. There we go. Okay, so at this moment you have both legs, the slider, and it's now level. So to give you a little more information about this slider, it's not only that it's small and lightweight, it again measures 60 centimeters or 24 inches and weights under three pounds. On the base of the slider, let me turn it upside down, you'll find several threads over here for mounting it to your tripod or tripod head either on the center or to have a tripod over here and another over here, so one on each corner of the slider. On the top, you find another thread, which is this one, for mounting a tripod head. Here on the side, they placed this screw lock, this red one, so you can stop it from sliding. Right now, it's stopped, so I'm gonna unscrew it, and as you can see, now it's sliding. So this helps a lot, for example, when you're mounting your camera or a tripod head over here and you don't want this to move. So you simply screw it and that's it. And lastly, there's a bubble head for leveling your horizon. So a camera slider will add production value to your videos thanks to the smooth movement that it creates and also the ability of taking them horizontal like this. Perhaps you want to do some vertical shots so you can go do something like this or even on an angle placing it like this something very important to look in a slider it's not only how smooth it writes but also how it's strong and durable since a very small dent can ruin how it slides also i want to add that to truly have a good smooth shot in my opinion you need to have some sturdy hands and to repeat the shot at least three times, since in the LCD of the camera, you will barely notice any movement, but once you're at your computer, you at least have several clips to choose from. And lastly, I would say, practice, practice, practice. So overall, I like how portable this lighter is and the materials feel well made, and of course, how smooth it writes. So to give you a quick idea or reference, as to weight guides or limits, uh, according to Photo Republic, it says it supports up to 21 pounds. Uh, here, as you can see, I'm using Nikon 50 200 DSLR. I'm shooting with a Rode mic. Here it is. And this is the Manfrotto tripod head 804 RC2. So, this is the reason why I recommend uh, looking for not only a sturdy and durable slider but something that rides smooth. Because at this moment, when you're trying to film or grab a clip of something, you want a very smooth ride. And also, you don't want to hear any noise 
because if in case you're recording with microphone you don't want to hear some noise from the actual slide so I'm gonna leave you with some clips taken with the slider with no editing whatsoever straight out of the camera so thanks for watching hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe